Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to study parts of speech in English. There are eight parts of speech in English. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjunction. The parts of speech indicates how the word functions in meaning as well as grammatically within the sentence so dear students these parts of speech play very important part in learning english language so without the grammar there is no glamour to your language so remember the thing g and g grammar is equivalent to the glamour of language noun nouns are words that are used to name people places animals ideas and things nouns can be classified into two main categories common nouns and proper nouns common nouns are generic like ball car stick etc and the proper nouns are more specific like charles the white house the sun etc so let us see the examples in the sentence here he bought a pair of sandals i have a pet is this your pen many people have a fear of darkness he is my brother this is my school so remember those words which are in bold letters those are uh, those are all nouns so the next part of speech is pronoun pronouns are words that are used to substitute a noun in a sentence there are different types of pronouns some of them are reflexive pronouns possessive pronouns relative pronouns and indefinite pronouns i he she it them his yours anyone nobody who etc are some of the pronouns so the examples in sentence i reached home at 6 in the evening did someone see a red bag on the counter is this the boy who won the first prize that is my mom i heard myself yesterday when we were playing cricket so the bold letters i someone who my myself are all pronouns used instead of nouns in the sentences keep that in mind so the next part of speech is verb so verbs are words that denote an action that is being performed by the noun or the subject in a sentence there are they are also called action words some examples of verbs are read sit run pick garnish come pitch going so these are all the examples of verbs so examples in sentence she plays cricket every day so here play, plays is an action word so keep that in mind prasad and vishal are going to the movies so they are going the action done by vishal and prasad is they are going so going is a verb here my friends visited me last week did you have your breakfast my name is prakash sharma so the next part of speech is adverbs so adverbs are words that are used to provide more information about verbs adjectives and other adverbs used in a sentence there are five main types of adverbs namely adverbs of manner adverbs of degree adverbs of frequency adverbs of time and adverbs of place some examples of adverbs are today quickly randomly early 10 am etc so the example in sentence did you come here to buy an umbrella i did not go to school yesterday as i was sick raju read reads the newspaper every day can you please come quickly tony was so sleepy that he could hardly keep his eyes open during the meeting so the uh, words which are in bold letters they are indicating the adverbs here they are 
giving more information about verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs in a sentence. So keep that in mind. Adjectives. Adjectives are words that are used to describe or provide more information about the noun or the subject in a sentence. Some examples of adjectives include good, ugly, quick, beautiful, late, etc. So the examples are the place we visited yesterday was serene. Did you see how big the dog was? The weather is pleasant today. The red dress you wore yesterday, the red dress you wore on your birthday was lovely. My brother had only one chapati for breakfast. So the next part of speech is preposition. Prepositions are words that are used to link one part of the sentence to another. Prepositions show the positions of the object or subject in a sentence. Some examples of prepositions are in, out, beside, in front of, below, opposite, etc. So, dear students, these prepositions can be understood in a single word here. Pre and positions. So, these are telling the positions before itself. So, the words, examples are the teacher asked the students to draw lines on the paper so that they could write in straight lines. So, the teacher has suggested to draw the lines where it is on. So, remember on the paper. And she has also suggested that in straight lines. So, in and on are both the prepositions in the sentence. The child hid his birthday presents under his bed. So, the child here he has hidden his birthday presents under the bed. So, here under the bed. Remember, next sentence. Mom asked me to go to the store near my school. The thieves jumped over the wall and escaped before we could reach home. So, the next part of speech is conjunction. Conjunctions are a part of speech that is used to connect two different parts of a sentence. Phrases and clause. Some examples of conjunctions are and, or, for, yet, although, because, not only, etc. So, these are all the examples of conjunction. Let us see those things in uh, sentences Ajit and Arun had come to my birthday party. So, here we have connected two names in a sentence that is Ajit and Arun, and becomes the conjunction. Conjunctions are used to connect one sentence or one phrase to another, or one clause to another clause. So, keep that in mind. Jane did not go to work as she was sick. Unless you work hard, you cannot score. Good marks. I have not finished my project yet. I went out with my friends. So, these are conjunctions. Next, interjection. The last preposition, uh, sorry, the last part of speech. Interjections are words that are used to convey strong emotions or feelings. Some examples of interjections are oh, wow, alas, ipi, etc. So, it is always followed by an exclamatory mark. So, this is the main point to remember in the interjection that uh, interjections are always followed uh, with the exclamatory mark or exclamation mark. So, interjections are used to show sudden feelings or sudden emotions which we show. So, when India wins the match, we say hooray. So, these are uh, those are the interjections. So, the examples are wow. What a wonderful work of art. Alas, that is really sad. Yippee, we won the match. So, these are the interjections. Yes, that's it for today's video. I hope you have understood parts of speech. If there are any questions regarding parts of speech, just let me know in the comment section. I'll respond to everyone. Thank you. 
for more grammar videos subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates and don't forget to share it with your friends happy learning see you all in the next video